super quick uh, tutorial uh, and um, more exactly today I will talk about uh, when it is the time to report orchids from semi-hydro and uh, the answer is super easy and super simple and that is the moment when the pseudobulbs cannot uh, fit anymore the uh, size of the pot and also when the roots cannot fit anymore inside the pot inside the pot and here we have a very good example this is my Catlisia siam jade um, as you can see she is growing roots outside the pot and uh, also the new growth is barely barely fitting there anymore and uh, this new growth is also starting to push up some new roots of her own so uh, what I will do it is um, I will take her out of this pot and uh, I will put her in this bigger one and uh, actually you will see it is super super easy uh, I will first take the tag out very gently and I will put it here and now I will squeeze the pot without damaging the roots Has some roots on the bottom which are pretty small in there. And all these roots have been created in the past two and a half months. This orchid was reported in Orno she created these roots in three months but um, that is a, a pretty good uh, root system for that uh, amount of time you can see how many she has so she is a very happy orchid and she is one of my favorites because she is super super fragrant so I will try to make her fit inside she will still have a root that uh, will be aerial because it is going upwards and I will try to keep her alive, but uh, beside that, all the other roots, I want to be to make sure they will go inside the pot. So now I will just reuse the old needle and bring some more. Put the tag back, and that is pretty much all, guys. This is how easy it is to report from semi hydro to semi hydro. This is why I like so much. Now I will go and prepare some medium because I do have some that is soaking but I do need to rinse it and it's pretty easy. I just need to fill up the pot, you can see. The root system now fits perfectly inside and I have plenty of, sp of space for new growths. I don't think uh, the orchid needs any more this steak but I will try to reposition it more close to the front of the orchid because um, when the orchid will spike I want to be able to stake the spike so I will just move the, the stake not because uh, she, will, she needs uh, stability but uh, to stake the future spike I don't uh, take the spikes out of the pot because that is a very good way to uh, uh, share diseases between orchids so this is why I usually keep uh, the stake inside the pot okay and this is how see she will stay after I add the medium she will be stabilized inside the pot I want to bring this uh, back bulb as close to the side of the pot as possible so I leave as much space for new growth uh, as I can uh, I'm pretty happy with uh, this orchid she is very ha healthy she is very fragrant when she's in bloom so uh, you should actually check uh, because I have an idea video for this one Alrighty guys, if you have any questions, please leave them in the comment section below. Thank you very much for watching and see you all next time. Bye! So, I was really not planning to film this uh, reporting, let's say, but uh, I really want to show to you how many roots this orchid has. She is absolutely full, full of roots and I will try to show to you in a second. So 
whoever ever says to you that cutlass cannot be grown in semi-hydro, just look at this root system. It is huge, absolutely huge. She is full of roots, all the roots are alive, all the roots have been grown in the past uh, six months, I believe, because uh, I have uh, started to use this medium in September uh, last autumn, so uh, from 2017 till today are... Or seven months more exactly so in seven months she grew all this root system how amazing is that and she is still continuing to push up new growths unfortunately this orchid never bloomed for me I have her for about uh, uh, what five years I believe from Schwerter she did uh, push up a lot of new growths but she never bloomed I will try now with uh, the bigger pot I will put more fertilizer into her water uh, swing the pH and see if I get blooms. So, alright, guys, thank you for watching.